structure is a new default format for normative standards by the International Standardization Organization. And I'm going to explain in 10 slides um, what it is and that it's not something complicated. It is actually something that would make a lot of the compliance more easy for many businesses. This is The high-level structure is uh, mentioned in the Annex SL of the ISO directive, where all the new changes uh, for the norms that are being rolled out this year uh, are, are. You can find this there in this this document. That's not very interesting. Let's let's see what it's actually is the goal. There we go. The old certification schemes, um, the most famous one, the most well known, are for quality, environment and health and safety. Um, quality is the ISO 9001, environment ISO 14001 and best practices for health and safety are certified with the OHSAS 18001. These old schemes, they had all their old different uh, structure and their own structure. And the terms and conditions are all very different and all focused on the, the language used in their specific part of the of the market the specific parts of the management of, of any business or organization the new schemes uh, that are coming out this year edition 2015 um, will be uh, the following um, the only difference is health and safety that is uh, will become ISO 45001 um, the, the big difference is, is that all new standards that are coming out uh, by ESO will have the same, uh, the same basis, the same structure, the same high level structure of each document, the same table of contents, the similar or the same use of, of terms and conditions. And this will making implementing this normatives in a management system much more easy. The high level structure or HLS consists of 10 common chapters and each new norm that will come out will be based on this uh, on these chapters. Scope, references, terms and definitions, context, leadership, planning, support, operation, evaluation and improvement. It's important to see that um, that the continuous improvement cycle is uh, is included in this in this structure. The plan do check act cycle. Most of you will know that. Um, imagine your business or your organization as this big blue circle. In a sustainable operating business, there should be taken into account the all aspects related with people, planet and profit. And when you relate this to the certification schemes, actually every company should be working with health and safety, environment and quality standards to ensure durable operations. And it's very interesting to see that there are only a few companies that actually have these three certificates. There are many companies who have only one or maybe two of them and not, not the three of them. And this new system will make it more easy to integrate this is like this essential um, 
management systems into into your business and when these normatives are integrated um, in a system it's much more easier to plug in that's why it's a plug-in model to plug in new aspects uh, which are specific for for the branch you're operating in or or any changes it's much more easy to to implement that in the in the in the management system it will be more easy to build management system there will be more simple and there will be more re robust and when the management system as such is uh, much more simple and people from all layers of your organization uh, will be familiar with it and a resilient system like this will in an efficient way deal with uh, with stakeholders legal aspects risks and new opportunities so that's what this new high level structure is all about if you have any questions uh, you can send me an email or check out my website follow me on twitter and please subscribe to my youtube can channel if you want to see more of this kind of videos thank you for watching